Centre of Sooties. Well, you know, it's just occurred to me that nothing ever actually seems to get invented there. So I've decided to have an inventing contest between Sooty and Sweet and Sue. They've got to make two inventions each, and I'm paying 50 pence for the best invention. Would you like to go around and see the inventions? Would you? Right, let's go around to Sooty's Invention Centre. Follow me. Here we go. Here we are. We're in Sooty's Invention Centre. Look at that. That's Colin, the computer. Good afternoon, Colin. Good afternoon, Matthew. Good afternoon, Matthew. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Matthew. Oh, good afternoon, Matthew. Hey, let's go through the inner laboratory, shall we? Can we go through this door here? Come in. Oh, there doesn't appear to be anybody here. Hang on a minute, I'll call Sooty and Sweet and Sue, see where they are. Sooty, Sweet, Sue. Uh, hello, Matthew. Oh, hello, hello Sue. Matthew. Hello. Uh, where are the boys? Where are well, they? We're all working in separate laboratories because oh. our inventions are all top secret. Top secret top inventions? Secret. Mm. Well, since you're here, Sue, can we see your very first invention? Certainly, Matthew. If you'd like to press that button. This button mm. here? Yes. Right, here we go. Sue's mm. first invention. Yes. Look at this. Well, I'm very excited about this, Matthew. Me too, Sue. I've spent many hours getting the formula just right. Yes, and, and what is it? eventually, I've managed to invent... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, powdered water. Powdered water? Powdered water, that's it's right. Powdered it's like water. powdered milk, except it's powdered water. Well, you I... just place some of those crystals in that flask. These crystals yes, here? Yes, please. Put them in this flask here? Yes, yes. Like that? Yes. Okay, Sue? Now, now what? all you do is add water. Add water? Any old water will do. What, this here? That's just ordinary tap water, yes. Okay, yes. well, we'll pour that in there. Mm. Like that? Yes. Now what? Now, just taste the solution, Matthew. Taste this. Go on. Mm. Hang Go on, on a minute. Mm. That's just ordinary water, Sue. You see, it works. Powdered water. Just yes. a minute, Sue. I poured the water. No, not only can you drink it, Matthew, you can wash clothes in it, yeah, and you can make soup with it, yeah, and I... you can water the garden with it, yes, and you can make tea with it, right. and wash your socks with it. All right, make... Sue. Powdered water. Fancy that for an invention. Can, can you hear some music playing? The transistor radio. So... Oh, Sooty's inside the computer. Sooty, come on out of there. Come on. Hello, it's nice to see you. Wait for all the boys and girls. Say hello to Sooty. Hey, listen, Sookie, what about your invention? That's it playing in there. Well, get it out. Let's have a look and see what it is. Uh, just a minute. This is ordinary transistor radio. I'm sorry to tell you, Sookie, but transistor radios have already been invented. This is a special one. Well, let's turn it off for a minute. Let's just turn it... Oh, look, the knob's fallen off. The... It's supposed to do. What do you mean? Oh, Sooty says it's a special radio and the knob falls off so it'll give employment to knob factories all over the country. And that makes sense to you, does it? Fancy that. Well, I can't wait to see your second invention. Get rid of this one first of all, Sooty. That's it. Where's Sweet? Oh, Sweet's in the downstairs laboratory. Well, uh, just a minute, where are you going? Hang on, Sooty, hang on a minute. He's gone. Well, never mind, we'll see if we can get Sweet on the closed-circuit television. Let's see if we can fade him in on the screen. Here we go. Can you hear me, Sweet? Oh, there he is. Sweet, what's your first invention, then? A self-destruct sausage? Well, what's the point of that, Sweet? It saves your sausages being stolen by sausage bandits. How about that? Uh, well, let's see it working, then, Sweet. Let's have a look. Does it work? Go! Oh. Well, now James Bond managed without that invention. Matthew, Let's get rid of him on the Matthew, screen. Hello, would Sue. Would you like to see my second invention? Oh, yes, now? I would, please. Jolly good. Uh, it's nothing to do with exploding sausages, no, is it, Sue? No, it isn't, Matthew, but it is to do with food. It's a 21st century meal. A 21st Stay century meal? Yes, yes, yes. Peas, peas, peas. And lots of gravy. <gasps> And would you like to sample it? I'd love to sample it, Sue. Mm -hmm. yes. What do I do? Press well, this button? Yes, that's right. Here we go, then. This is going to be a lovely meal for it to... Just a minute. Mm. Look at that. It's just a great big pill. Yes, is that, that it? Matthew, is the meal. Really? Steak and kidney pie, chips, 
peas and gravy, completely dehydrated and made into a pill. And all you've got to do is add water. Add water? Mm. Well, we can, let's try it. Let's see what happens, shall we? Let's add the water. Mm. <laughs> Look at that! Jolly good. It's worked! Jolly How about that? I'm going to get stuck into this, Sue. Yes. Ooh. It's gone again, Sue. Yes, that's the problem. It does tend to dry out rather quickly. Five seconds is the longest I've managed so far. All mm -hmm. right then, Sue. Well, I hope they're very fast eaters in the 21st century. That's all I can say. A dehydrated meal. I know what. Let's see what Sookie's come up with for his second invention. Sookie, are you in there? Come on out. Come on. That's it. Now, what about your second invention? It's just inside the computer. What is this? It? What is it? Oh, is it really? Sooty says this is an automatic tea cooling device. Get some tea out there, Sooty. Let's see if it works. And all you do is you stick this in the tea to cool it, and it stops your lips from burning. Right, we'll put that in there. Now, wait until I tell you to turn it on. Right, let's give it a try now. <laughs> do I think it's cooled it? I think it's done more than cooled it. It's absolutely destroyed it. Look at that. Let's get rid of that broken glass, and let's get it all ground up in the computer. Press the conveyor belt. That's it. And away it goes. Hey, I know what we'll do. We'll see what Sweep's second invention is, shall we? Move over there, Sooty, and let's get him on the screen. Here we go. Turn it on. Sweep, are you there? Swe oh, there he is. Now, what's your second invention, Sweep? A supersonic alarm clock? Supersonic alarm. What do you do with that? You sleep at twice the speed of sound? Sleep at twice the speed of sound. Let's see it working, Sweep, shall we? Goodness me, what an invention. Tell you what, come up from the basement and you, Sooty, come over here a minute, come over here. Sue, yes, come in here and yes, sweep as well, because I'm going to announce the winner of the inventing contest, all right? And this is who's going to get the 50 pence prize, me. That's right, because my invention is better than any of yours. Would you like to see it? Yes, please. Well, I've been messing about with your computer in there, and I've programmed it to have an automatic brain that tells us exactly who's going to come on next on the Sooty Show. So press that button, and let's operate the memory bank. Memory bank. Memory bank. Memory bank. Now here's a very special gift.
thank you very much. And look who we've got here. This is Mickey. Oh. Yes, that's Mickey. Hey, do you know, such a sweet and sue, the thing that really surprises me about this fella is how much like a human he looks. I can't get over how much like a monkey you look. He said that. <laughs> that's not funny, Mickey. From where I'm sitting, it's funny. <laughs> oh, that's charming, isn't we, it? We've got a present for him, haven't yes, we, Matthew? Yes, we've got a present for you, Mickey. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Where? Look Maybe at this. Just what a minute. Got for, for me, then. What have I got for you? Hang on a minute, just a minute. What have I got for you? Yeah. Uh, what should we do? Well, give me a big kiss and we'll forget all about it. Give me a big kiss? Yeah. Give me a kiss, then, Mickey. Give it. Mm. I don't know the situations we get into on the Sooty Show. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about another situation that I got to into, into on the Sooty Show, and that was when Sooty Sweet Sir Myself went to the car wash. Have a look at this. Place. Car wash, 50 pence. Can't see anybody serving. Excuse me? Is anybody serving? Chop? Is anybody... Is anybody serving? Because of... Sushi! Oh, I'm glad to see you. Listen, I want to get the car washed. Now, do you know who is actually washing the cars at this garage? Because... Not... not you. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better give him a chance. You wash the car. I'll see you again in a couple of minutes. Do it nicely. is too small, there's not enough water. What you need is a great big bucket like this with lots of soapy water like that, and then you can do it. Well, will I, will I show you? What, how to wash the car? All right, all right. You go and stand over there. I'll show you how to wash the car. I'll show him what I mean. At the car wash. And that's how you wash your car. What do you want? You want, you want the money? Or 50 pence? Well, I don't really think... Ha hang on a minute. I, I did all the work, sissy. Ha 50 pence and I washed my own car. Anyway, it looks very nice, doesn't it? You know, I do like a nice, smart, clean car. There's such a... Excuse me, are you Matthew Corbett from the Sooty Show? Yes, I am. I've been recognised. Can I have your autograph? Yes, you can. What's your name? Natalie. Natalie, that's a nice name. There we are, Natalie. There we are. I've got some friends around the corner. Can they come too? Oh, yes, of course they can. Come on, go! children. <laughs> Look at my car! Look at the dirty fingerprints all over. It's covered! Just a minute, Sushi. I'm going to take this car to a good old-fashioned electric car wash. There's one down the road that I know of. Uh, you don't run it, do you? I hope not. That's jolly good. All right, come on, let's go. Oh, no. Not you. 
Take a seat, please. Mm. Take a seat, please. Listen, I hope I'm not going to have the same trouble with you as I had with Sooty, because I just paid him 50 pence and I had to wash my own car. <laughs> and it's not funny, either. It can't happen here. Why not? Oh, I suppose it's all automatic, is it? Oh. Everything works with the flick of a switch. All right, well, I suppose I'd better trust you. 40 pence, there you are. Now flick the switch and let's have a look. I've got the car outside, and I'm just... Hey, wait a minute. You're Matthew Cobbard, aren't you? Yes, I am. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Harry Corbett. Never heard of him. See if I can. Anyway, is that your Range Rover out there? Yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? Sweep's just had it cleaned in the car wash, all bright and shining. Oh, clean. I'm so pleased. It's so clean. <laughs> it might have been clean a few minutes ago, but since the fertilizer lorry won't... <laughs> The fertilizer lorry! The fertilizer lorry spilled half its load over it. Ooh, oh no! Just have Just... a look. Oh. My car! Oh. 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 My car! I'm just having it cleaned! Look at my car! Look at all of this! Oh. oh, poor old Matthew Sweep. He does have his troubles, doesn't he? I tell you what, I feel so sorry for him. I'm going to treat him to a car wash. How about that? How much is it? How much is it? 40p? All right, that's 50. Give it a change. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, now you switch on the machine and give Matthew's car a wash. <laughs> girls. I'm afraid we've run right out of time, so it's the end of the Sooty Show for this week. But don't forget, you can join us at the same time, same place next week for lots more fun on the Sooty Show! Come on, everybody, dance around and clap your hands! Hey! So I poured the water. No, not only can you drink it, Matthew, you can wash clothes in it, yeah, but and so... you can make soup with it, yeah, and I... you can water the garden with it, yes, and you can make tea with it, right. and wash your socks with it. All right, make... Sue. Powdered water. Fancy that for an invention. Can, can you hear some music playing? The transistor radio. So... Oh, Sooty's inside the computer. Sooty, come on out of there. Come on. 
Hello, it's nice to see you. Wait for all the boys and girls. Say hello to Sooty. <laughs> hey, listen, Sooty, what about your invention? That's it playing in there. Well, get it out. Let's have a look and see what it is. Uh, just a minute. It's an ordinary transistor radio. I'm sorry to tell you, Sooty, but transistor radios have already been invented. This is a special one. Well, let's turn it off for a minute. Let's just turn it... Oh, look, the knob's fallen off. The... It's supposed to do. What do you mean? Oh, Sooty says it's a special radio and the knob falls off so it'll give employment to knob factories all over the country. And that makes sense to you, does it? Fancy that. Well, I can't wait to see your second invention. Get rid of this one, first of all, Sooty. That's it. Where's Sweet? Oh, Sweet's in the downstairs laboratory. Well, uh, just a minute, where are you going? Hang on, Sooty, hang on a minute. He's gone. Well, never mind. We'll see if we can get Sweet on the closed-circuit television. Let's see if we can fade him in on the screen. Here we go. Can you hear me, Sweet? Oh, there he is, Sweet. What's your first invention, then? A self-destruct sausage? Well, what's the point of that, Sweet? It saves your sausages being stolen by sausage bandits. How about that? Uh, well, let's see it working, then, Sweet. Let's have a look. Does it work? Go! Oh. I wonder how James Bond managed without that invention. Love Let's you. get rid of him on the Love screen. You. Hello, uh, would Sue. Would you like to see my second invention Oh, yes, now? I would, please. Very good. Uh, it's nothing to do with exploding sausages, no, is it, Sue? No, it isn't, Matthew, but it is to do with food. It's a 21st century meal. A 21st Stay century meal? Can you buy meal. it? Yes, Just yes. Peas, peas. And lots of gravy. Oh, and really? would you like to sample it? I'd love to sample it, Sue. Mm -hmm. yes. What do I do? Press well, this button. Yes, that's right. Here we go, then. This is going to be a lovely meal. But to... Just a minute. Look at that. It's just a great big pill. Yes, is that, that it? Matthew, is the meal. Really? Stay and give me by chips, peas, and gravy. Completely deep. Oh, there doesn't appear to be anybody here. Hang on a minute. I'll call Sooty and Sweet and Sue. See where they are. Sooty, Sweet, Sue. Uh, hello, Matthew. Oh, hello, hello Sue. Matthew. Hello. Yes. Uh, where are the boys? Where are well, they? We're all working in separate laboratories because oh. our inventions are all top secret. Top secret top inventions? Secret. Mm. Well, since you're here, Sue, can we see your very first invention? Certainly, Matthew. If you'd like to press that button. This button mm. here? Yes. Right, here we go. Sue's mm. first invention. Yes. Look at this. Well, I'm very excited about this, Matthew. Me too, Sue. I've spent many hours getting the formula just right. Yes, and, and what is it? eventually, I've managed to invent... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, powdered water. Powdered water? Powdered water, that's right. It's like water. powdered milk, except it's powdered water. Well, you just place some of those crystals in that flask. These crystals yes, here? Yes, please. Put them in this flask here? Yes, yes. Like that? Yes. Okay, Sue. Now, now what? all you do is add water. Add water? Any old water will do. What, this here? That's just ordinary tap water, yes. Okay, yes. well, we'll pour that in there. Mm. Like that? Yes. Now what? Now, just taste the solution, Matthew. Taste this? Go on. Mm. Hang Go on a on. minute. Mm. That's just ordinary water, Sue. You see, it would hydrate it yeah. and move into a pill. And all you've got to do is add water. Add water? Mm. Well, we can, but try it. Let's see, see what happens, shall we? Let's add the mm. water. Look at that! Jolly good. It's worked! Jolly How about that? I'm going to get stuck into this, Sue. Yes. Oh. It's gone oh. again, Sue. Yes, that's the problem. It does tend to dry out rather quickly. I'll Five say. seconds is the longest I've managed so far. All mm -hmm. right then, Sue. Well, I hope the very fast eaters in the 21st century, that's all I can say, a dehydrated meal. I know what, let's see what Sookie's come up with for his second invention. Sookie, are you in there? Come on out, come on. That's it. Now, what about your second invention? It's just inside the computer. What is this? It? What is it? Oh, is it really? Sooty says this is an automatic tea cooling device. Get some tea out, then, Sooty. Let's see if it works. And all you do is you stick this in the tea to cool it, and it stops your lips from burning. Right, we'll put that in there. Now, wait until I tell you to turn it on. Right, let's give it a try now. <laughs> do I think it's cooled it? I think it's done more than cooled it, it's absolutely destroyed it. Look at that. Let's get rid of that broken glass and let's get it all ground up in the computer. Press the conveyor belt. That's it. Sooty Show! Thank you very much. Hey, you know that invention centre of Sooty's? 
Well, you know, it's just occurred to me that nothing ever actually seems to get invented there. So I've decided to have an inventing contest between Sooty and Sweet and Sue. They've got to make two inventions each, and I'm paying 50 pence for the best invention. Would you like to go around and see the inventions, would you? Yeah. Right, let's go around to Sooty's Invention Centre. Follow me. Here we go. Here we are. We're in Sooty's Invention Centre. Look at that. Oh, there's Colin, the computer. Good afternoon, Colin. Good afternoon, Matthew. Good afternoon, Matthew. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Matthew. Oh, good afternoon, Matthew. Hey, let's go through the inner laboratory, shall we? Let's go through this door here. Come in. 